Hey guys, this is a follow-up video where I'll be adding three Hikvision security cameras to my Hikvision NVR, but I'll be doing it over my LAN. In this situation, my camera's cables are terminated in a different place than where the NVR is located. I have a PoE switch in my basement, for example, where half of my network cables are terminated for my cameras. I want to keep my NVR in the garage, let's say, where the other half of my camera's cables are terminated. Make sure that your NVR is plugged into your network through the LAN port. Make sure that your NVR is on the same subnet as your network. If not, the IP address and gateway needs to be updated on your NVR to match that of the rest of your network. And this can be done through the SADP screen on my PC here, or it can be done through the NVR on the system network TCP IP screen. In my case, they are both on the same subnet and therefore my NVR can communicate with any device on my network. So here I have the three heat vision cameras which I'll be adding to my NVR over my network. I have a mini PTZ dome which has not yet been activated. I have a standard dome which does not have the activation feature but it has been factory reset. And I have another standard dome of the same model and it has a static IP address and port configured from when I was using it recently on my Blue Iris software. So let's drop them onto my LAN and figure out how to access them through the NVR. I'll also be using a tool called SADP by Hikvision on my PC. And this is a tool for managing IP addresses and understanding what state the cameras are in. I'll add a link for that in my blog as well. So let's start again with the mini PTZ camera, which is inactive. Looking in SADP, the camera is in its inactive state right here. Here on the NVR, the cameras on my network are all detected on the camera screen when you click the custom add button. If your camera doesn't show, click the search button, which actually does a refresh of this list. But if I try to take that route to add the camera, I get an error message saying no more IP cameras allowed. There is even a message at the bottom of the screen indicating there are a number of devices unadded. These are network cameras on my LAN, and you would think that selecting a channel, then selecting a camera, would add that camera to that channel. But no, this is a more challenging process. Select the mini PTZ camera and click activate. Give the device a new password or use the default camera activation password. There is a checkbox for use admin password, but this is actually not the admin password for the NVR, but the camera activation password that you assigned earlier. Yes, it's a bit misleading. If you want to update the camera's IP address, do it in SADP, or you can do it here by clicking edit in this list followed by the password. I'll update mine to keep all cameras on the same .0 subnet and a unique address of .155. Now to add the camera to a channel, click the edit button. Select the manual adding method and enter the IP address followed by the password. That's it, the NVR is now recording a LAN camera using one of the 16 available channels on this device. We will now add this older Hikvision camera over the LAN which does not have the activation feature. Again, this camera has been factory reset as if it were brand new. On the NVR, we will try to add the camera using the add buttons, and again, we get the error, no more IP cameras allowed. So again, we just have to follow the same process as before, just no activation this time. On the bottom of the screen, update the IP address. Use the password 12345. To change the password, you will need to log into the camera using the web user interface. Then click the edit button on the channel where you want to add the camera and manually enter the IP address and password. There you have it, this remote camera is now recording to the NVR. In this last scenario, I add the dome camera to the NVR over the LAN, but this one has a static IP address and port from where I used it before in Blue Iris. Let's find it on the list at the bottom of the screen and note its IP address and port. Next, yes, you guessed it, we'll update the existing channel with this information. And that's it, this network camera is now recording to the NVR over my LAN. So that covers adding these three Hikvision security cameras to my NVR over my network. Unfortunately, Hikvision does make it a little confusing with its wording and the process when trying to add cameras. I hope this video has cleared up some of that confusion around adding cameras which are located on your local network. To check out where I picked up these cameras and the NVR, see my blog at newfieldboard.com in the description below. And be sure to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.